Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the dual surface element on your range. It's a really easy job. Let me show you how we do it. Now to change the surface element on this range, we're going to start by opening up the door. And then along the front edge, you'll note there are three screws that secure that main top to a mounting bracket. And then there are two screws that secure that mounting bracket to the oven liner. So we take either of those out, and we're going to opt to remove the two screws that secure the bracket. We can then close the oven up again. And then we'll just gently lift up on either edge and just pull that top slightly forward. There are two clips at the back that slide into a slotted opening there. And what we want to do is make sure that those clips have a tab that is folded down so that they don't pull all the way out. Normally they're just a straight clip, and we want to put a little fold in them. So what we'll do is we'll bend that tab down. We'll just take a flat blade screwdriver. Just put a little bit of a fold in that clip. We'll line this one back up on the back of that main top. The opposite one, we'll just press down on it just to put a little bit of a, a bend in it. Now we'll push that top back into position and we want to make sure that those brackets line up with that opening. Now when we push it in, those two tabs that we bent will prevent it from being pulled out easily. Now next we're going to raise that top and we're going to support it with some type of a prop. Now we've cut a couple of wooden sticks about 24 inches long. If we lift up on that top with a little pressure towards the back. Make sure it's, you can support that weight. And then we'll put our two props in place. And that will secure that top from moving. Now our next step will be to take note where the mounting brackets for the element are located. There are several slots on this cross piece to accommodate different size elements and different tops. We need to make sure that we take note of the proper location for the element that we are going to replace. So either take a picture of it for the camera or just mark them with a marker or a pencil. Now that we've done that, our next step will be to remove the two screws that secure that mounting bracket that holds those elements against the bottom of the cooktop. We're going to remove those two screws and lower those elements down. There's typically enough harness here to allow us to do that. Now you may wish to have somebody assist you with supporting those elements as you lower them down. Lower them down as an assembly carefully so that you don't damage the elements themselves. Now once we have it laying flat, we can then go ahead and remove the wires to that element. We're also going to want to take note of the location and color of each of those wires. So just using a pair of needle nose pliers, we'll pry those wire ends off of the terminals. And just take note that any appear to be corroded or discolored you'll need to replace those. Now once we've removed all of the wires, our next step will be to release the spring mounting brackets that attach it to that cross piece. You'll note these brackets are attached to the bottom of the element. They just have a little bit of an arrowhead fastener on them. So typically you can push those a little bit to one side and allow them to pop up through. Again, we want to take note of the location of each of those before you remove them.
And we'll also take note, on the bottom of that element, there are a series of numbers that are opposite a corresponding hole. We'll want to make sure that we, when we transfer this spring mounting bracket to the new element, that we line it up on the same locations. So using a Phillips screwdriver, we'll simply take those off. Then we'll discard the old element. So again, when installing that new element, we're gonna make sure that we put them in the appropriate spots, and we'll go ahead and mount those brackets. And just make sure that bracket is flush to the edge of the element. And tighten securely. And always use caution that we don't damage the insulating material on the top side of that element. Now our next step will be to place that element on the mounting bracket and making sure that we line up the arrowhead fasteners on those spring clips and the appropriate mounting holes. Just make sure those fasteners protrude all the way through the hole. And then next we'll reconnect the wire harnesses. Again, we'll check each of those to make sure that there's no signs of any corrosion or arcing on those terminals. And make sure they fit on nice and snug. Now, once we have all of the terminals in place, we'll then lift that whole assembly up into position and reinstall the two mounting screws on that mounting bracket. Now, when mounting that element assembly back onto the bottom of that main cooktop. We'll first make sure that we, the bottom of that cooktop is clean or take the opportunity at this time to wipe any dust off that may be on there and then we'll lift it up into place. And if you require assistance to hold it steady, make sure that you get that. and just to ensure that none of the wires are pinched anywhere. Then while supporting that top, we're going to lift out our two support brackets and then lower that top down into position. And next, we'll open up the door and reinstall the two retaining screws across the bottom. Make sure our top is centered side to side. That should line up the screw holes. Don't tighten the first one until you have the second one in place. And then tighten both of them securely. And now we're ready to reconnect the power and your repair is complete.